All right, let's talk Colorado Buffs football. Look, this program has been all over the news this offseason. The arrival of Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, had desired effect, brought a lot of attention, a lot of eyes to Boulder, a lot of eyes on Colorado, and it had the absolutely intended effect of bringing in big-time transfers, big-time recruits, potentially none bigger than uh, Coach Prime's son, Shadir Sanders himself. That's who you see on the picture in front of you. And there has been, as much as Deion Sanders has had a lot of good vibes to Colorado, he's faced a lot of criticism. And we've got an interesting story showing the other side of it and why what Coach Prime is doing is really important. But before I get into that story, Buffs fans, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Obviously, you guys are big Colorado fans, but I want to know who is your second team in college football. So for me, for example, I grew up in Northwest Florida, grew up in the South. Alabama was huge around that neck of the woods. I, I liked Alabama, but it was also a big fan of Southern Cal. That was the Reggie Bush days. They were kind of my second team. I was rooted for them growing up. Give me who your second team is other than the Colorado Buffs. Uh, make sure you do that in the comments section below. But all right, so getting to the story here. Obviously, the first meeting, the very public meeting that Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, had in front of his staff and his players at Colorado, he talked about he was bringing in a lot of transfers, right? And there's going to be a lot of concern to the players. They're not going to have their jobs, right? We're going to bring in quality players, and a lot of you guys are going to have to transfer out. A lot of you guys are going to lose your starting spots or whatever it may be. And that was taken like with a lot of negative publicity from the media. Like, how can how can Sanders say that? I mean, it's so abrasive. It's so tough. It's just, they're just kids after all. And his son, Shadir, had some interesting comments here, and I want to kind I'm pull this up here. And this is him talking to ESPN. I'm going to quote uh, Shadir Sanders here. I quote, it's not a hard message because here's the thing. He's talking about uh, Coach Prime's message to the players. It's not a hard message because here's the thing. A lot of people are used to being lied to. The players coming in, they're coming to play. They're not coming to sit. So if you've been here, you're chilling, you're thinking your spot's good, that's not the case. You've got guys want to play with top talent each and every position. Nowadays, a lot of people are scared of the truth and they don't like hearing that. And that's around the money here. He hits onto something perfectly. Obviously, he's defending his dad, but Coach Prime is doing something very important in his introductory uh, meeting to the team there a few months back. He's being honest. He's being direct. He's being authentic. And I was a former college play athlete. I played college football, small school college football, and I was not very good. So I'm not trying to think I have any sort of big head here. But the reality is coaches at every level, from head coach, position coach, coordinator, lie to the players all the time. They lie to them in the recruiting game. They lie to them when they get there. They lie to them every single day for four years. Right, Because whether you're the starter, whether you're the second string guy, rotational player, whether you're a scout team guy, they, the coaches have a role for you. And it's easier for them to keep you in whatever role that may be than to try and go out and recruit or transfer in somebody else. So coaches will lie. They will misre misrepresent the situation to players all the time. They'll tell, tell a player, hey, you're a backup. Hey, you're great. You're the next guy. Or they're talking to a recruit. Hey, listen, you're going to come in, compete for a starting job right away. And they show up in their fifth string. You're like, well, you're technically competing. You get one rep at practice every week, right? That, that's competing. That's just the way it is. Coaches lie. What Sanders is doing that I really appreciated, he was dead, honest, authentic. He came and said, listen, guys, I'm bringing a lot of big-time recruits. None bigger than his son, perhaps. Travis Hunter is another one, obviously. I'm bringing a lot of big-time recruits. Bring a lot of big-time transfers. A lot of people are going to want to come here to play football that aren't the usual level of people that have been at Colorado the last few years. A lot of you guys aren't at that level. So a lot of you guys are going to have to, you're going to lose your jobs. You're going to lose your positions. You're going to lose your spots. Or you're going to have to transfer out of here. Or both. You're going to be sent to the bench or, or you're going to have to leave or whatever, but it's just not going to work because we're bringing in elite level talent. And that level of authenticity, that's rough. That's tough to hear, especially as a kid. But that's also life, right? That's reality. The fact of the matter is sometimes in situations, there's guys that are going to come in and they're going to be better than you. And it's better for the team, the organization that you get replaced. It just happens. We see it all the time, especially in sports. And the reality is the fact that seniors came in here and was so darn authentic and has been so honest and forthright from the beginning you know, even as a player, even if you're one of the guys on the short end of the stick, at least you appreciate the authenticity. Because I knew a lot of guys that I played with that were, felt they were strung along for four years. Like there was a lot of guys, and, and it just was a sad reality. They're like, you know what? I'm I'm the next guy up. You know, I'm the, I'm the third string running back. I play on special teams. You know, but the two guys in front of me are seniors. Next year, I'm going to be the guy. I'm going to be you know, getting splitting carries with the number one. And then next year, come in and a recruit comes in and he's splitting carries. And they're like, okay, okay, this recruit's really good. But then there's a, still another senior. He's, he's the guy who's the new recruit splitting carries with. When that senior's gone, then it's my turn. And then next year, two more recruits come in. And he never sees the field. He's strung along for four years. right? He's, he pours blood, sweat, and tears from the program and was never given an honest and fair shake. That's just the reality of cultural policy. That's just how it happens. And that's just me at, at, at a small school level, at the, at the big time, big program level. It's so much more magnified. That's just how it works. For anyone who has played college football, anyone listening who has, you, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. And for people that haven't, that's just, that's just how it works. Sanders being honest, fortright, and just, just upfront with all the players is the way it should be done. And in the long run, it will be better for both the players that have to leave who, or will lose their spots or, or relegated to backups or third strings or whatever. Because if you have honesty thrown at you, that's clarity. You know your situation. You know what you need to do. Whether it's leave or stay, if you want to graduate from Boulder, you can Colorado, University of Colorado at Boulder, you, you know what you need to do. 
and it will help bring in recruits because every recruit who hears from Sanders says, listen, you're going to be a starter or someone, hey, listen, you're going to be third string right out the gate or whatever, or whatever the situation may be with that recruit. The recruit will know he's honest and honesty always works out in the end. When it comes right down to it, anytime you can lie and manipulate and try and skeeve your way into getting top talent, it'll work for a year or two, right? You'll be able to fool some people, but eventually the word will get around. People will lose trust in you. And it won't just hurt in the recruiting game, by the way. It'll hurt in the coaching game, hurt in coaching and developing players, bringing in quality assistance, things like that. It just has a way of cascading. So I think uh, Shadir Sanders here is right on the money and understanding that, listen, a lot of people don't like this, but the truth hurts sometimes. And I love the fact that Deion Sanders, Coach Brian, has been 100% authentic and 100% hundred percent truthful from the get-go because in the short term and the long term it's the right move for the university of colorado it's the right move for the football program and more importantly it's the right move for the kids whether the transfer is coming in or the guys who unfortunately lose their spots because no matter what everyone wants the authenticity everyone wants to know the truth whether it hurts or not it's just the reality and i really think despite all the talking heads in the media not being happy with how sanders has handled some of the things i think this is 100 the right move and a strong indicator of good leadership 